Oak Alley is a section of the city of Melbourne, Florida, located on the city's northern side. It was an independent city in Brevard County from 1860 into 1969. That year, residents of Oak Alley and Melbourne voted to merge their governments. A subsequent vote resulted in the combined jurisdiction being named Melbourne. The name and identity of Oak Alley persists in a number of local entities and was used by Oak Alley Arts District Main Street, fully accredited Florida Main Street program since 2010. Ogali developed as a small coastal town along the Indian River. From the earliest days, the Indian River Lagoon has provided economic and recreational benefits to the inhabitants of Ogali. John Carroll Houston IV was the first settler in the Ogali area in 1859. A relative of Sam Houston, Houston had been sent to the area by the United States Army to determine how many Native Americans were still living in the area after the Third Seminole War. Arriving in the Indian River area, Houston fell in love with his beauty. He took a leave of absence and applied for a soldier's land grant. Houston traveled to the area of Ogalley with his sons and 14 slaves. He began clearing land and building his home. The area changed little during the Civil War. Florida's first lieutenant governor, William Henry Gleason, founded the city in 1860. He practiced law was a partner in a sawmill business and was director of the town's first bank. While traveling along Florida's coast, Gleason passed many charming harbors. He liked one such area so much that he purchased most of it, 16,000 acres at $1.25 an acre, and named it O'Galley, which is French for rocky water, referring to the coquina rocks along the shore of the Indian River Lagoon. He moved his family to O'Galley in 1866 and began building the family home. In 1997, the Queen Anne-style home was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. You can visit the home, which is located on Pineapple Avenue in the O'Galley Arts District. The historic home is currently for sale and is listed at $800,000. A U.S. post office was established in 1871. In 1883, John Good. An early settler provided the first schoolhouse for O'Galley residents. The school had two teachers, Maud Good and Mary Valentine. The school was segregated, with white children attending in the mornings and black children in the afternoon, and would only attend five or six months in the summertime. In 1970, the school was moved from its original location and relocated to the campus of Florida Tech. During the period of 1885 to 1889, a boat yard and basin was established by Captain Aaron Bennett, known eventually as the O'Galley Yacht Basin. It was considered the best safe deep water harbor along Florida's east coast. Thus, O'Galley and later Melbourne became known as the Harbor City. O'Galley has original historic buildings, live oaks, and native plants located on the Indian River Lagoon. It is anchored by the O'Galley Civic Center public library and pier, as well as Pineapple Park. The area also hosts several other city-designated parks, including Rossetter Park and Houston Park. O'Galley is home to the O'Galley Arts District Main Street Program, an award-winning, fully accredited Florida and National Main Street organization. This area is also home to fine art galleries and long-established businesses, as well as new entrepreneurs that have opened new businesses in the historic little city stimulated by the presence of the O'Galley Arts District, which boasts an outdoor art museum consisting of over 30 murals, a mosaic, and sculptures. The historic Rossiter House Museum and Gardens, which is on the National Register of Historic Places, offers home tours, rental space for private events, and hosts their own events. O'Galley also contains several other notable historic structures. These include the Advent Christian Church, Florida Tech's Fusner Art Museum, the Ginter Building, and the Roche Home. O'Galley Square in the O'Galley Arts District is a public green space with live oaks and a band shell that serves as the center of some community events. Today, the O'Galley Arts District is a vibrant community that boasts a rich history an eclectic mix of art galleries, restaurants, shops, and normally a full calendar of family-friend events for visitors and residents to enjoy year-round.
This incredible little city is a charming historic town, but it's also a thriving business district, cultural hub, and a home for so many people. It's a place where generations have lived, worked, and preserved the historic fabric of his downtown.